go through some don'ts which you need to keep in mind for an interview. These are practices which you need to avoid in every interview that you take. First of all, don't get late. It's obvious to say, but a lot of students don't keep it in mind. Especially if you are going for an interview in cities like Delhi or Mumbai, you must keep a certain margin for the traffic and getting late because of that. Therefore, reach the venue and the interview room well in advance. Also, please make sure that you are sharply dressed and nothing is shaggy. Again, if it is summers, your clothes might tend to get wrinkled or sweaty. Please keep those factors in mind as per your travel options. You must also not forget to greet the panel and address them properly when you enter the room. Once you've started the interview, you must avoid getting overly aggressive. Now that sounds simple, but we don't get aggressive on purpose. Our body language shows aggression. Sometimes we sit too forward in the chair or our hand gestures are too loud and aggressive or our eyes are quite staring at the panel instead of just having a firm eye contact. At the same time, our voice can reflect aggression. Therefore, you must avoid all these gestures in order not to appear aggressive. At the other end of the spe spectrum, you must avoid also being overly passive. What shows a passive stance? Body language. So if you are sitting too comfortably in the chair, either leaning back or just your shoulders are drooping, this shows a very passive attitude. Your voice, if it is too low or not enough modulated, also shows a person who is very passive. These also need to be avoided. Sometimes, when the interviewer asks us a question, we are not really sure of the answer or at least have not formulated the answer clearly in our mind yet. At that time, the most common problem is that students tend to beat around the bush and not get to the point of the answer very soon or at all. So you must remember that take your time to think and don't beat around the bush. Try to give your answer very concisely in the minimum number of sentences. Also, you must remember that arguing in an interview with the interviewer is the worst mistake you can do. You may have some unfavorable elements in your resume. All of us do. Some of us don't get great grades in academics. Some of us don't have great extracurricular activities. Some of us have failed in life at some other activity. These are all unfavorable elements. All students have these. But reacting sharply to this when the interviewer asks you this un un uncomfortable question or arguing about this creates a very wrong impression in the interviewer's mind. Accept your past mistakes and show that you have worked to improve on these. Also, you must remember that the interviewer is looking for somebody who is very calm and does not get stressed under pressure. So any amount of frustration or aggression would lead to a negative consequence.